Hello, BookTube. Um, it's a wonderful, beautiful weekend day. Um, it's in the 70s degree Fahrenheit, which is very rare here this time of year. But, but welcome. No snow on the ground for the most part. You drive on the back roads, there is because the trees block the sunlight. But other than that, not much snow. And... My wife's out planting flowers, my kids are playing in the yard, one neighbor's got a lawnmower going, and the other one's playing with his motorcycle. All signs of spring here, so and all welcome. So if it gets a little loud, just just part of the season. So, Because uh, this little room's actually, I have a room on each side of the porch. So this is like, it's attached to the house and there's a big porch above me. But this little room is created... For who knows what reason, 190 years ago. It doesn't always make sense, but I found a use for it. I use it mostly in the summer because it's not heated. I could heat it, I guess, but I haven't, haven't bothered yet. But it's Sagalong, the third year of Sagalong. And I've been a part of it since the beginning, as have many of the hosts. But we do have new hosts, which is always exciting. And this year is a little different because we're doing one saga. And that's Nyal's saga. In the past, we've either done one together, a longer one, and then a couple shorter ones individually. So we've covered a lot of ground on the sagas, and they've thus far been Icelandic sagas. And, of course, there's totally tied up with Scandinavia, Norway, all that stuff. So who knows what the future will hold for the sagas, but that whole part of the world seemed to have loved the form, and I do too. So, Njal's Saga. This is one of the longer sagas. I think it is the longest that I know of. It's certainly the longest of the family sagas. It's um, interesting on several levels. Now, we read the first 40 chapters, okay? The chapters are short. I can give you an idea. So, let's see. This is 22. You get that page, that page. And that page, and then there's 24. So a couple pages at the most. 40 chapters is not hard to get through. We open with a, well, let me just get to it so I don't say anything wrong. But we open with a brief aside that sort of sets the stage in a bit. So in chapter one, there was a man named Moor. Find out a little bit of him, about him. He had a daughter, Un. Very beautiful, which is trouble in the sagas. And uh, he was a powerful chieftain and a legal mind. And through this whole thing, we're going to see legal mind. We're going to see a couple things. In <clears throat> Iceland at the time, of uh, almost a thousand years ago, the Althing, which is their annual, almost like a legislature or a legal law body or something, is very democratic um, for those fairly elite landowners. Um, it was a society that was sort of farmer sailors. They, they might make merchant uh, voyages or Viking voyages where they would go for plunder. They would make voyages to Norway and meet the kings, and they would also farm their land, and they tended to be fairly scattered. They'd be up the rivers. They'd be. They'd find what was prime land. If you have the sea and the land, it's obviously some terrains better for you than, than others. So we go, and we find out that there's a theme right off the bat, and that's the law. Um, the second theme for me is the. Uh, Blood Vendetta. Um, and we'll see this with uh, a couple of the characters. There's one character who goes, uh, gets betrothed, goes to, uh, and I'm not going to give you hundreds of names because this thing's loaded with names and I'll get to that in a little bit. Goes, does his merchant trading, he's trying to get his inheritance, leaves his betrothed behind. She's not too happy. Meets up with one of the kings in uh, Scandinavia, the king's mother. Uh, 
has an affair with him, and she's sort of the one who initiates it, and it gets into a little bit of interesting. They do lock the door, which is proper, but when it's time for him to leave and he's he's found his inheritance and gone through some adventures, uh, she's not happy, and she can, she puts a charm on him so that he won't be able to make his wife happy. So this leads to some anger, as one would imagine, and. Uh, then we have Nyal and Gunnar, who are the big stars of the show later on here. One's a really warrior type, and uh, Nyal seems to me to be another one of these legal types, but with a big farm, and people come to him for advice. The wives of both these men start a feud with each other, in a way, and one will send a servant to kill one servant, and this will go back and forth. And where we are now, Gunnar and Danielle are friends. And their wives are driving this. And every time they go to the all thing annually, it seems like this is when people die and get legs chopped off and arms and axes through the head. And uh, one time, Niall may give silver and say, you know, we'll solve it this way instead of going to Blood Feud. And then very next time, Gunnar's hand in the same coins to him, and it just keeps going back and forth. But it's interesting. It is interesting. So some of the names, you get a lot of genealogy. That's the way it was back then. Um, they would have loved the interest Ancestry.com. Some of these names have shown up in other sagas. I get confused which one's from where. Laxar, Laxardalia Saga, which I just destroyed the name of is one place um, I did recognize some of that because we've read it but I would be hard pressed to get it exactly right some of the names are hilarious cattle flat nose there's a dude with shaggy bottoms and they, 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 they could be pretty funny and I don't know I don't think it's intended to be but maybe it is I don't know if it's always descriptive of the person or how they get the nickname if it's a nickname or whatever so um Absolutely soap opera, but of a very violent and intense kind. And uh, they're not the first society to have these blood feuds. We've had them in the United States, and and uh, other countries can claim the same. Uh, we think of Hatfields and McCoys here, right? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And one gets one, gets the other. It's never ending once you go down this path, which we're not, we're, we're a fourth of the way through, right? Um, Maybe the point here, I don't know what the point is. Um, I do know that I'm immensely entertained. Um, it does have a different flow than some of the other sagas I've read. It does seem to have a narrative flow. There, there's interruptions, okay? And it's very punctuated, I guess is the way I want to say it. But it does seem to have an arcing narrative that's very interesting. So I'll get to know what that is once I get maybe the next 40 chapters or a little bit after that. You might start to get a more, I might get more of a feel for it. But I'm very much enjoying it. We've got some great hosts. Please, I'll leave a list of everybody down below. Some of who this is part of their culture. And, and the rest of who are, of whom are fantastic readers and, uh, People I know, I, I know on BookTube that I, I really admire. So listen to their insights and, and see where they're different from myself. And uh, maybe they picked up on some things that I did not. But like I say, if you're going to read the sagas, Saga Long every year is the way to do it. And you can go into mine or Alan and Macardina. I think, uh, you know, I, obviously Kosh, Cruel Reader's Thesis, thesis, thesis has done this from the very beginning Steve Donahue um, and then we have, have new folks um, I, I, the list is down there um, most of us has been here three or I had two years and then some people are new this year um, like I say you might want to bounce around and see what different insights they have because uh, we got a great group this year and that's the sign of a healthy healthy read along so I've, I've rambled on enough. I probably should be reading, right? And uh, I hope everybody's well. Um, if you have uh, 
if you if you're hankering to get out of the house, maybe the weekend's the time to do it right. Hopefully, you have good weather for it wherever you live. But uh, thank you, BookTube, and uh, have a good weekend.